Prediction Decision Podcast. Hate me or love me. There's no in between. So I'm back. Yes, I'm back because why? YouTube is on some funny shit. But the social credit score rating is coming to America. Everything's coming to America. But uh, stay tuned to a channel near you. But you already know. But anyway, shout out to Passport Bros. I'm a Passport Bro myself. Been traveling across seas. DR, Brazil, Chilean, you know, I'm a, I, hang, I hang out with the Chileans, B. That's, that's what I do. But anyway, um, I don't know where they're from, but apparently they have a husband and one girl is like, well, husband, but they're going to tell us how they hook up with black men. And they love black men, Asian, Middle East, um, Asian Pacific Islander women. Oh my God, they're fucking awesome. I can't wait to get back to Thailand. Um, I'm going to head out to Bangkok. And um, I'm, I'm trying to plan for three weeks. So I'm trying to build up a time in the job. You know, and shit like that. Do some vlogs. But it's what it is. These women are actually beautiful. But I wouldn't date the girl with the dog. I just got some think about these females with these dogs. But it is what it is. This is what they got to say. Hopefully you can hear it. Because the audio is kind of damaged. Damaged up a little bit. Is he a question? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So today we're going to teach you how to pick up a black man. First of all, you have to be friendly. Usually Asian girls play by two kids. Yeah, right, Asian. Number two. Alright, Gail. She has to be actually sweet when you're talking. Yeah, so be sweet. Be extra, extra sweet. They like bullies. Okay? Lots of guys, they, um, they like bullies and bullies. But black guys, especially have very deep love for food. Always remember, when you see them, booty out. When you're even sitting, booty out. When you're wearing dress, you have to emphasize the skirt. Oh, they're so adorable. Look at them. So, they look adorable. They have the long hair. Hopefully, it's all this. That's another thing. That's what black men look for. If the hair is yours, you're winning. No matter what. But some black men love quality. We love women that's being feminine. And we also, a lot of black men love women with their natural bodies. I'm going to speak for myself. If you have your natural body, I'm perfectly good. I'm not into the BBLs and all that shit. That should look terrible. Um, I'm not trying to hear that you need to go for your fucking massages when niggas be trying to go out and hang out and shit like that. I ain't trying to hear that shit, bitch. Like, it is what it is. But the factor is, she she got a little bunky on her. She got a little little B cup. But they're adorable and shit like that. And they love black men. So, Passport Bros, if you're listening, we are here. And it's time to get out of America, bro. Like, I think I got, like, maybe a couple more years in this motherfucker. But I don't give a fuck. I am... I'm, I'm heading out. If my lady ain't acting right, she getting left too. I don't give a fuck. Act right or you getting left. There's no way around it, B. Act right or you getting left. Because y'all on some other shit. But the factor is, you can still find love in the States. I found love in the States. I ain't gonna lie. I love this girl. This and third. But do your thing out there. Um... These girls are very exotic. They do what they do. Exotic as in Filipino, Pacific Islanders, um, East Asia, and stuff like that. But live your life. You don't have to wipe none of these motherfuckers up or nothing like that if you don't want to. But the factor is, Passport Bros is winning, man. And they love black men wherever you go, bro. The Moreno, the Negro, we are the best because uh, some niggas act like niggas. Don't get it twisted. But if you're respectful, you hit the town and you're chilling, you just want to, it's just shorty, I'm just relaxing. Like, they want to get this money and all that shit. So, let them get this money. It's what I like. It's what I want to do. You know what I'm saying? They got to check on the kids and all that. But, you know. I'm going to do the vlog anyway. When I hit DR, it's a sewer. Going back to DR, man. Been in like six, seven times, man. I, I like DRs. 
Something about the exotics out there. You know what I'm saying? But live your best life, passport bros. I've been doing this since 2000 fucking, fucking night. Matter of fact, I've been doing this since the 90s, man. Like before social media and all that shit got here. Turning 39 next month. Be like, been hanging out in the Bahamas, Miami, um, Mexico. It is what it is. Um, shout out to Blue Bay Esmeralda Resort, B. They treated me good. If you don't go nowhere, head to Blue Bay Esmeralda Resort. And anybody that's been to Cancun, they already know. It ain't fun time unless you're in a wheelchair with vomit in your lap and you're half naked, bro. That's a fact. That's me. <laughs> Living my best life. But this is your podcast. Hate me, love me. There's no in between. Them exotic young ladies is looking for black men. Hit me up on prediction underscore incision underscore TM. Prediction incision at gmail.com. Prediction incision on Twitter. Just let me know. Like, comment, subscribe to the show. It is what it is. Prediction incision podcast on the road to 200 subscribers. Show me some love, man. It is what it is, man. And, you know, the algorithm with YouTube. We're going to do what we do because they're they trying to put us on that social credit score. But that's a whole other story. It is what it is, man.